Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here. Okay, so if you've got a Nintendo Switch and you're looking for a premium level case for it, one that looks good too, check it out. This is called the City Slicker. It's by Waterfield. You can find them over at sfbags.com. I'm gonna link to them in the description down below. Now, because it's a premium case, what we're talking about here is all handcrafted out of San Francisco, California, custom made too. Now, there's a number of options you can outfit this case with. So it starts at $79 and goes up from there, depending on what you add to it. Uh, but I gotta tell you, if you're willing to spend the extra cash on this, and by the way, it is definitely worth it, uh, this should be at the top of your list. I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why as we have a closer look at it. Now, if you're not familiar with Waterfield, they've been around for a long time making cases and bags, pouches and leather wallets. And I got to tell you, I've had some of their products in the past, super high quality. They definitely hold up over time. This one's no different. The City Slicker, it in fact was manufactured via the requirements from the community. Waterfield went out and said, hey, what do you guys want to see in a case for the Switch? This is the end result, and it's all made out of high quality leathers, ballistic nylons, and reinforced neoprenes. You're getting a look at it here. We've got some Waterfield branding on the outside. This color that I've got, it's called Grizzly. It's more of a distressed leather, but you can also get it in crimson, which is red, blue, or black. You saw the bottom there with a loop. More on that in a minute and what that's for. On either side here, we've got additional loops that are going to be used to attach different types of accessories, such as carabiner that you see right here, or a wrist strap, or even a shoulder strap. Those are the accessories that are going to raise the price of this case from the starting point of $79. Along the back side, we've got a mesh pouch that is flexible enough to hold a number of different items, and you see your Waterfield zipper there. Very easy to open and close it. On the inside, we've got a Made in San Francisco with sfbags.com for their website. Very plush on the inside, and I'll talk about what you can fit inside of this case in just a few moments. Now, this does not use a snap system. This is really nice hardware that attaches via a magnetic system. So you're not going to have to worry about putting undue pressure on your switch when you open it or when you close it. It's pretty flawless. You caught a glimpse at the game cartridge holders. I'll come back to that in a minute, but I do want to call out the inside flap because that's also reinforced leather that you see right there. There's those game cartridge holders that I just called out. There's five of them here. I'll demonstrate how they work in just a moment. On the inside, it's extremely soft, very, very plush. Couple of different pockets here. Notice on the side, we've got these reinforcement areas. Those are kind of like these stiffeners that are going to prevent any additional pressure on your Joy-Con sticks. Now, let's say you don't want those. It's easy enough to remove them. They're just attached with Velcro. And there you go, that's it, easy as that. And you get a little slimmer profile case. The red area is where your switch screen is going to rest against, and that's even softer than the rest of the case. How does it all come together? Well, take a look at this, because what I've done is I preloaded a number of different items inside of the case. Of course, this is just an example, so you might choose to load different things here. But in the mesh pouch, I have my AirPods. You could also fit a backup battery there. You could probably also fit your Joy-Con wrist straps if you wanted to, and definitely a few extra games as well. Uh, the Hori Play Stand does not quite fit back there, if you're wondering. I've tried it. As we open it up, you're going to see those game cart holders here, five of them. You cannot double stack, so it is one per slot. Very easy to put the cartridges inside of the slot, and then they're not going to fall out. It's a very snug fit, but it's very easy to remove. You just push your finger up in that slot there, and away it goes. It's easy to remove. Again, this is just an example of how I've loaded mine. The front pocket, I've got two Joy-Con straps, but you could put a USB-C cable there. You could put something else in there, maybe your AirPods or headphone uh, earbuds or something like that. I would recommend something smaller since that is going to press up against your screen, even though the screen is protected. Yeah, I've got extra Joy-Cons in the back slot here, and uh, you could certainly put something else back there, but I wanted to show you that if you want to bring an extra pair of Joy-Cons, yep, they're going to fit. And here is how the switch looks inside of the case. It is a very nice fit. Remember that loop on the case that I showed you? Here's how it works. All you got to do is give it a tug and out comes the switch. It's a super easy fit. You can easily slide it back in as well, and that's all there is to it. Very well protected. It's not going anywhere in here. 
Guys, I got to tell you, this is my go-to case now. Yes, it's a little bit more pricey, but you are getting a custom-made, handcrafted case that is going to last. It's not going to break down. It is the City Slicker. It's by Waterfield. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for even more content. All the details about this will be in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.